all right guys what's going on welcome to a brand new video kinetic here uh coming at you guys with some very interesting and very uh juicy things today i got a quick base bill showcase for you guys right here today um got a nice little bill here i want to show and also uh i'm gonna get my uh, input and my thoughts on some very very intriguing and new interesting uh drops and showcase drops from the devs lately that's gonna be some new things that are gonna be added to the game such as a new airfield a new uh, tractor a new motocross bike um man what else man uh, a new city i mean loads of new stuff that's on the horizon that i'm super super excited about myself and uh definitely uh interested and <laughs> can't wait you know to see these things in game but i'm gonna give my take on it but uh yeah man first and foremost let's get to this base bill and uh i will highlight you guys on this thing real quick all right guys this is a pretty simple base bill i got here uh, i call this base the bow tie and uh, i think it's kind of obvious why i call it that because <laughs> if you look at the shape it is uh, shaped like a bow tie very similar to a bow tie if you looked at it from the from the top like a sky down view it would look like a bow tie so it's kind of like you know slim in the middle and it kind of like triangulates towards the outside on the outer parts but um this base i built it it's really quick really quick easy, easy build it only took me maybe about 55 minutes close to an hour and that's without uh, a vehicle um the base is really you know kind of um, like focused towards a solo maybe a duo you could do a, a, a duo starter base out of it and uh, just have it split, you know, but I'll show you the interior. So, you know, it kind of give you an idea what I'm talking about, uh, but a very functional base, very useful and uh, has plenty of space for uh, all the things you need to do. So uh, with that being said, let's head inside and check the interior out real quick. All right, heading right on in guys. Um, interior is pretty simple, pretty, pretty functional, pretty straightforward and nice. Uh, you can lay it out however you want to, uh, but this is the interior. As you can see up top, um, I'll kind of highlight how I have the uh, murder hole set up here. And uh, I just want to make a little interesting kind of uh, like functional base that you can kind of use. And as you can see, I got like a lot of craziness going on with the platforms here, but I'm going to show you how that pans out in a second. But uh, basically, like I said, like the, the base is called a bow tie. As you can see, it's really slim in the middle. And on the outside, you have all your space where you can put, you know, all the things you want to put. Uh, as you can see, I've got my flag here. And just coming in right here, I've got like a bench and uh, a tucked away chest right here underneath the bench for uh, items. And, um, you know, like I said, it can be a solo or a duo. I suppose if you had a duo, you could uh, split the sides. So one person could be over here. The other person could be, you know, on the far side over there. You guys can kind of split it up and kind of you know acclimate or just work with the uh the area how you want to but uh that's how i have it set up and just coming in the middle i just have some furniture here and uh you know i have a chest tucked away underneath here and yeah as always guys uh solo player official servers the loot is definitely out there <laughs> and the loot is definitely out there uh so uh never be discouraged but um you know i just got some basic furniture here a chest underneath um just just some uh you know some things to make it kind of nice and cozy in at home and uh just heading back here towards the base the back of the base got plenty of space to add extra things um if i wanted to i could add a well in here or uh you know some other items but uh i decided to go with a cooking pit which i put in the back corner back here a nice little setup for when i want to cook you know make food uh squeeze another chest in back here uh like i said plenty of room really though to kind of add more and I just got my little bed tucked away right here in the back. But yeah, that's pretty much the um, you know the floor level of it. But uh, let's head up to the top and I'll show you guys kind of what I got going on with these crazy <laughs> platforms here. All right, guys. So now the platform set up. Um, I'm going to try to shimmy up here. So I kind of have this here for a reason. Uh, the table kind of helps me get up to the platforms. Um, this one right here is kind of way too high to kind of jump to, you know, from ground level. So this actually serves a purpose here. <laughs> so I'll just jump up here and up we go. This is the first stepping stone up right here. Um, it's just another level, a level platform. 
Uh, the, the most usable ones are here on the back. So we got this one right here on the back. And as you can see, there's two murder hole setups I have here. And um, right here, I can just kind of look out. You know, I can see, you know, around this side of my base, you know, up the hill here. This way, I can look out back around the, behind my base. And so it kind of gives me a pretty decent, almost, you know, 180 view around the back of my base on this side here. And uh, just really, really helpful. And, you know, I can kind of scope out, aim out, you know, kind of get a good look around from my base overall. Uh, I just wanted to make a little setup that's usable inside the base. Um, you know, especially just using the shape to its advantage and just giving me a little, um, you know, convenience to kind of scope around my base if I want to. But um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna show you this side here. I'm gonna try not to fall. Uh, moving on here to the middle, as you can see, I got two platforms kind of, uh, you know, kind of adjacent to each other. And if I jump up here, these are quite high, so I got a pretty, you know, open view around my base here, so I can kind of see around the sides, you know, view around, and uh, just the whole front part of the base I can kind of see around because they're high enough. Uh, and also, I got one set right here, so if I want to, you know, kind of shimmy across, yeah, I can't fall. So it's like a quick, little easy transition straight across. I don't even have to jump. Uh, but it'll give me a back view of this side over here. So I can really, you know, with the base design and the, the shapes and the angles, you can really, as you can see, you can catch all the corners of the base just from these platforms right here, pretty much. So um, that's kind of how I set it up and why I set it up the way I did. And you just basically have a small base, so you have a pretty good view all the way around for it. Um, I would add another platform over here for this murder hole. Uh, I'll probably do it in the future, but um, really and truly, I got plenty much, you know, I got plenty, you know, of a view space from just these two right here in the middle. All right, so yeah, I mean, um, that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, a very simple base build, uh, perfect for a starter solo, starter duo. And uh, like I said, it only took me maybe about 55 minutes to put up. That's without a vehicle. And uh, pretty low resource, man. Pretty budget bill, and it works very, very well. Very well. Um, but, yeah, uh, with that being said, man, that's the base bill. Now let's jump into, uh, real quick, just my take and my uh, my thoughts on the new new items that's being added in the SCOM that's been recently shown in the showcase as of August the 19th. I think they revealed it. But uh, let's hop into that right now. All right, guys, if you haven't checked, uh, super exciting uh, new additions coming to SCOM really soon. Uh, they dropped a showcase development uh, update yesterday, August the 19th. And uh, some really, really, really nice things in it. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is the new airfield, which is really, really dope. Um, I think there's going to be a new uh, little uh, PvP, PvP spot uh, besides the original airfield. I'm not sure what this one is going to be at, but uh, if you can look in the picture in the background, uh, it kind of shows the wall. So it's going to be somewhere near a wall. I don't know if it's going to be on the east side or the north, um, but it's going to be definitely near a wall somewhere. But uh, overall, I like the layout of it. Uh, it looks I like the way that it's not as linear as the original one. Uh, it's a little bit more uh, filled in in segments. So there's a lot of like, uh, I guess, duck out or hide out spots. And uh, also in the picture, if you look, there's uh, a lot of big hills around. So <laughs> there's going to be a lot of people probably uh, overwatching and doing sniping. So it's going to be a pretty interesting, uh, interesting little add on, if you ask me. Uh, also, uh, I see an antenna in the back on one of the mountains. I'm not sure if that's part of it. Uh, I'm not sure how expansive it is, but it looks like it's going to be pretty, pretty big. But uh, nevertheless, super excited and uh, looks like it's going to be a nice, good point of interest to uh, explore and take a look at and also loot. Okay, uh, moving on to the next new addition, guys. This one is so, so exciting. Uh, they're adding the new city or we got the first look of the new city they've been working on. They're going to add to the game. And man, it looks amazing. It looks absolutely amazing. Uh, I love the scenery. I think they nailed the scenery, the looks of the new buildings, uh, the layout, all the material assets, the collateral. Um, it all looks just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, some of the pictures almost look uh, 
like photogenic, like like photorealistic in a way. If you look at it from a, a, a like a zoomed out angle, and if you weren't really paying attention, they almost look like a like a real shot. But um, man, it looks awesome, man, with all the city buildings and stuff. I can imagine it's gonna be a crazy, crazy PVP zone. It's gonna be awesome to see how the dynamic of uh how everybody comes together and uh you know kind of interacts in this area in this zone. Um, but it's gonna be so interesting, man. Being having being able to have access to the the skyscrapers, the buildings and stuff that they have. Uh, maybe being able to fortify them and uh, make them your own. Maybe have a squad just fortify a whole building. Oh um, man, it's just <laughs> just the thoughts of uh just the thoughts of all the possibilities is just crazy. But uh, man, I'm super excited about this new city though, and uh, I just can't wait to uh, see more and, and and see more of what they have in store for us in terms of it. All right, now guys, this is super super cool. They are adding a new tractor in, and again, this thing looks so well well modeled. It's, it's so cool. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be having this thing. To, it's it's gonna be functional. It has to be. I mean, nobody's gonna just be using this for transportation. Of course not. Um, I'm sure that Dale's gonna make this thing functional. I hope that. Uh, they add it to where you can maybe, you know, haul logs, attach a trailer to it, haul logs, uh, you know, really, really big items will make a uh, base building a little bit quicker. Uh, but, uh, you know, as you can see from the back of the, the truck, uh, there's also there's a hitch on it. So, I mean, it's definitely going to be used, I'm sure, in some kind of way. But, um, man, the, the whole the model of it just looks awesome. And um, I'm just excited to see, like, functional vehicles in the game that we can use uh, that, uh, aside from transportation, they uh, serve a different purpose. So super excited about that. Okay, uh, not only is the tractor coming, but next up, the devs revealed a new motor cross bike or dirt bike. And this thing looks freaking sick, man. It's freaking dope. Um, I love the color and design of it. It looks really uh, sleek and sporty. Um, from the looks of it, I would say it's probably just a one-seater. Uh, as you can see, there's no um, passenger foot, foot pegs on the back. Um, but, I mean, nevertheless, um, this is going to be really awesome because it's the first uh, two-wheel, you know, introduction of a two-wheel transportation-type vehicle. Um, this is probably going to open the doors up to maybe just regular bikes as well and uh, possibly like a full-fledged uh, motorcycle. So, man, this is some uh, really exciting news and really excited to have this being showcased and know it's coming. Um, I just hope, I hope that they get the handling and just the, the control and maneuverability of the bike right. Because uh, personally right now, the ATV is not that impressive as far as handling goes. Uh, it's very stiff. They kind of improved on it a little bit recently, but it still needs some work. But uh, I hope that the dirt bike is a lot more functional off-road and uh, maneuverable overall. But uh, we'll see when it comes out, man. But I'm super excited, and it looks freaking awesome, man. Next up, the Dales have revealed that we finally get to get some level of player bondage in the game. So we'll be able to tie people up, tie uh, other prisoners up. Uh, holding for hostage or whatever you want to call it but uh, man I think this is something a lot of people or a lot of players have been waiting for and uh, hoping for and I'm glad they're delivering on it and uh, I can't wait to see how this is going to change things up man because <laughs> you'll be able to officially kind of like hold people up and keep them for hostage so um, this is going to be really cool and it just it just gives a better option instead of just trying to kill people you know some people actually just want to um, just, just kind of uh, hold people up and rob them and let them go. Uh, not everybody wants to kill people, so it's just, it's just gonna give a better option for everybody and you know to allow us to uh, do whatever we want to do as far as interacting with other people. So this is gonna be really, really cool. And last but not least, the devs have teased at new animations for laying and sitting. And I think this is going to be really awesome. Um, I was really, this is the one thing I was really hoping for too. And I was really waiting on uh, the option to actually just sit down and just kind of chill and kind of relax and uh, even lay down. Um, so, I mean, we have all these other kind of, uh, you know, hand gestures and things. Uh, I think sitting and laying is something that's just customary that should be in the game. But I'm glad that they're bringing it in. And not only that, um, they uh, the uh, actual animation itself or the actual uh 
behavior of laying and sitting is going to be functional. So when you do so, uh, you'll be able to heal faster. And also your stamina will be able to increase quicker. So that will encourage people to do it a lot more often. So I think that's really awesome. And I'm really looking forward to that as well. All right. All in all, guys, man, super, super excited about all these new additions coming, man. This is going to be a crazy, huge, huge patch. And of course, a wipe's going to be coming with it. Uh, more than likely so enjoy what you have but uh man this is gonna be some awesome awesome new content that's gonna be coming to scum and i'm just super excited about it but anyway guys uh if you want to get any more of the details make sure to go follow the uh, dev showcase i'll try to link it down below so you can go check it out but uh yeah man that's pretty much it guys i hope you enjoyed it make sure to like subscribe comment and i will see you guys in the next video take care